Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the signups for the 2023 2.4 Hours of Daytona. This year, sponsored by Mike's Hard Lemonade. Enough from the new sponsorship. Uh, let's get down to brass tacks here. I did a sign-up event for this last year, but whenever I was recording it, the file corrupted, and unfortunately, I could not upload it. And it was a really good race. Definitely a lot better than the 2021 version. So this year... Hopefully, it's going to be even better than the previous two, but basically, we're going to have two separate classes of, P of drivers here. If you have seen the previous three iterations of the 2.4 Hours of Daytona, I know Alex Graham did a race, did um, the same thing back in 2018, and we're going to have those winners have reserves in a couple minutes, but basically, we have two classes of cars, GT Le Mans and GT Daytona. And we have winners for each of those classes. They have reserves, and there'll be two classes. So I'll explain everything in the rules down below. But basic rules, real names only, two cars per user, one per class. And act like adults, you know the drill. So here are the cars. We first got the two, starting with GT Le Mans. So there's another one thing I want to mention. Everything with a zero in front of it is GT Daytona. And everything with no zero in front of it, just the two numerals, is GT Le Mans which are the Corvettes and the Jaguars, and then the Vipers and the Mustangs. Those are GT Daytona. Yeah, I didn't really prepare for this in advance, but hey, that's how we'd roll it here on the North American Sim Racing Network. Anyway, so we got the 2 for GTLM, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 8, the 04, the 06, the 07, the 12, the 20, the 36, the 40, the 45, the 49, the 56, the 59, the 62, <coughs> the 64, the 78, and the 84 for GT Le Mans. Now, GT Daytona, we've got the 1, the 0, 0, 0, 1, the 8, the 9, the 11, the 14, the 16, the 21, the 22, the 25, the 31, the 43, the 55, the 60, the 66, the 71, the 72, the 75, the 88, the 98, and the number 99. So here are your reserves. Those will be down in the comments section, uh, the description and the comments section below as well. So your 2018 winners for GT Le Mans was Michael Knapp and GT Daytona was Griffin Lynn. They have reserves even though they haven't signed up for anything in ages, but just wanted to give them reserves just for the hell of it. 2021, Daniel Bouchard for GT LM and Brad Stover for GT Daytona. Now, just because you won your specific class doesn't mean that you have to sign up for that. You can go to a different class. I really don't care. And then 2022, even though nobody saw it, Logan Williams won for GT Le Mans and John Stewart won for GT Daytona. So those six drivers have reserves for this race. But yeah, those were your 42 cars, and we will see you on the track later in the month, probably that Friday night before the actual Rolex 24 kicks off at the Daytona Road Course. But yeah, sign up, be mature, act your age, and yeah, let's have fun with this, guys. Glad to bring this. Uh, I'm really glad to bring this event back.